Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, I am here with, uh, I can't really call it an unboxing because I just, uh, I ripped it open and pulled it out already, so sorry about that. But I'm um, just kind of here with a first look at uh, a purchase I made. Uh, I have a really, really cheap, crappy um, balisong, but I figured that what I would do, for, do to be a little different is I just bought a cheap balisong instead of one that's cheap and crappy, or maybe it's just crappy. I don't know, but I just bought a ballast song, and it's not a, a really expensive one or a high quality one. It is a uh, Bear and Son Cutlery ballast song. I purchased this from Blade HQ. Uh, they had it, I guess, kind of on a reduced price. It was thirty nine dollars. Excuse me, twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents uh, with shipping and tax. It was about thirty five dollars. Uh, as usual, Blade HQ was pretty quick. I purchased it on Tuesday, and it came this morning. So, so one, two, three, five. I say about four days later, so pretty good. Um, this ballast song is about, let's, let's do some measurements here. It is about five and one quarter inches long. Um, the blade is, oops, sorry about that. The blade is, uh, let's see. Uh, just about four inches from the top of the handle, not the cutting edge. I would say the cutting edge is about three and a half inches, but the blade itself from handle top is four inches. And uh, overall length is about nine inches. It is made out of 440 steel, not 440C or HC, just 440. So probably not the best quality around. Um, it came... Um, not really that sharp, um, kind of, eh. <clears throat> I mean, it, it, if you needed to cut something open, you can cut it open, but it's not going to glide through and impress you uh, by any means. Uh, the uh, the handles are made out of a coated zinc, which is actually kind of nice. I don't know if you can see it from here, but it, it kind of has a lot of um, texturing on them. I'm not sure if the zinc is text is the zinc has uh, you know little indentations in it and then they coat it or if the coating does that or not. Not really sure, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, the handles have decent weight in them. Um, you know they're kind of milled out to make them a little a little uh, lighter, maybe a little faster. And um, like I said, it's not bad. You know size wise, it's good for the hand at that five inches. Uh, just so you know, like I said, this is my second ballast song. The other one was so bad, I couldn't even try to flip that thing. It was terrible. This one, I was sitting in my living room for a couple hours today, just kind of flipping it open, flipping it closed. Um, and I'm proud to say uh, I don't have any cuts. I was figuring I might have I might have had a cut band-aid or two on, but nothing there. Say, look, I'm safe. I did drop it twice, but no injuries in the, in the uh, preparation for this video. Um, I did notice that... When I took it out of the box, it's like this side right here is a little more, um, well, I kind of figured both sides would be like this. And again, I am no ballot song uh, aficionado by any means. I am probably on the far end when it comes to knowledge, and I don't mean on the high end. But if you notice, this one is moves around very, very easily. This one is kind of, um, well, it's like, it's, it's, a little tighter than that side and they're pinned in so there's really not too much I can do other than put just a little bit of uh, a little bit of knife oil I typically it's actually not even really knife oil that I use it's uh it's actually Hoppy's number no. nine uh, lubricating gun oil I use that and it works wonderfully uh, the best thing is this bottle uh, I don't know if I've ever shown you that but this is like three dollars on Amazon the bottle alone is worth three dollars the oil itself is the bonus. The bottle itself is worth it because it has this, like, applicator where it goes exactly where you want it. But that's a little off topic. So, um, I am going to have to put probably a little lubrication here. I was, um, like I said, flipping it a pretty good amount over and over and over again. I'm probably going to have my hand like a claw tomorrow morning because it's going to be all sore. But just from doing the same repetitive thing. But, um, yeah, it, it's not... Um, like this, this side just kind of, it swings around freely, as you can tell. This side, no, it doesn't. So like I said, I'm going to have to oil that. If I do oil it and it gets it to move around just a little bit, um, 
I think it'll flip a lot better, a lot more cleanly. Um, like I said, it was $29.99. If I had spent $300 on this, I'd be, I'd be a little disappointed. But for $29.99, um, I wasn't expecting much, and it delivered. You know, because my expectations weren't that high. Um, another thing, if you are interested in purchasing one of these, uh, it came covered in oil. <laughs> which is kind of dangerous. At first, I didn't notice it, um, that, that it was oily. I, I picked it out and I held it and I, you know, I, I kind of just opened it and like did like a flip with it. And then I said, wait a second, my hands kind of feel weird. Like it, it wasn't like dripping or anything, but it was just enough for you to know that, wait a second, my fingers feel funny. And it was this kind of, um, maybe like a lightish, very, very mild, like light brown oil. So I did wipe it, the handles off really, really well. Uh, and the blade just to just to get that off. I'll show you some of those markings. It has the bear and sun markings up on the uh, up on the knife. And by the way, this is made in the USA, so that's always a nice thing. The clip point blade. Um, if you know, I I had seen these for a while, and I wasn't quite sure if I if I should get it because again, I know it was going to be lower quality. I I'm not crazy to think you're going to get a fantastically awesome balisong for. To twenty nine ninety five or ninety nine, but I was wondering if it could at least be functional because I know there are trainers that cost a heck of a lot more than thirty bucks. I did look at a couple of videos, uh, people flipping them, and they seemed like they were quite usable. Now, obviously, if you're if you know your stuff and you actually are a pretty decent flipper slash collector, and, and you you know go to competitions, you're not going to use this, but just kind of like a fun knife, you know. Uh, as far as the blade goes, if this were a pocket knife, uh, probably the first thing I would have done was strop it. That looks kind of weird. Um, the first thing I would have done was I would have stropped it. Uh, this one, since I just got it, I, I was thinking, you know what? I'm probably not going to strop it because that'll just be dangerous for me. So I'll probably flip it a little more then I'll strop it. But I figure for a few days I'll just... Um, wow, that is weird. I'm just looking at this. And uh, this part of the blade here looks kind of rough. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So I'm doing this on my cell phone. So I don't know if you could see it, but... Um, wow, that's rough. I'm just looking at, at the edge of this knife right here. And that is extremely rough. You can feel it a little bit, but when the light hits it, you can really see it, like the, uh, the way it was machined. Wow, that's really mad. I've never seen a knife like this over here. Yeah, right in there. It's funny because like the more of knives I buy, those are like 11 bucks and they always look like kind of like blade perfection up here. Wow, that's some cheap, cheap uh, machining. And this is kind of all crooked the way it slopes down. Boy, I'd like to give this to Nick Shabazz. He'd have a field day with it. Wow. And by the way, if none of you guys have seen Nick Shabazz videos, uh, he does some, some really uh, entertaining and uh, insightful knife reviews. You have to check him out. He's like the king of YouTube knife reviews, I think. But um, wow, this is like all crooked in here. I really wish my camera was better. And then it kind of has this little hump over here, but it's not supposed to have the little hump. Wow. That's crazy. Fortunately, though, it doesn't affect the flipping. Could you imagine if you ever bought a custom knife for like five or six hundred dollars and it gets sent to you and it, it kind of had all these crooked things wrong with it? I, wow, that is way off. It actually, I'm just looking and it, it, like this, um, the spine kind of goes crooked over there. I think these guys were, uh, were drinking on the job or something. Whew. Well, you know, again, it was like $29.99, so you get what you pay for, but. Uh, just so you know, it, like I said, this one, kind of the way I would picture um, a balisong, the way this one flips, like I said, this one, um, he's just, he's kind of stiff. Like So like I said, I, I'm hoping that through flipping um, and a little oil, just to summarize things, this will get better. Um, this, wow, that's, this is crooked as all hell from like here to here. It's just a mess. I'm looking at it under good light. I didn't notice it before. I was too busy making sure that my fingers were preserved. 
But yeah, that's some sloppy work right there. Wow, that is unbelievable. But like I said, it doesn't affect the performance of the knife. And like I said, as far as quality uh, materials go, you got 440 steel, not 440C, not 440HC, just 440. So you got kind of a low grade steel there. Uh, as far as um, you know, heat treatment stuff, uh, if this work on the spine is any indication, it probably you know, didn't get much in the way of heat treatment. Um, that's when my assumption is. Uh, and as far as the uh, the handles go, I mean, they're zinc. You know, not not the best metal or anything. But for my purposes, uh, I would like to purchase a Kershaw Lucha at some point. And I figured I would kind of get something like this just to kind of flip around for a while, see how much I enjoyed it. And then if that's the case, purchase a Lucha. Uh, in the meantime, I think this would make a fantastic letter opener. I don't know. Well, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, if this intrigues you at all, I would check out some other videos also. We, I saw a couple where people were actually flipping them. I'm not even going to try to do that because I cut myself. Not badly because this isn't that sharp, but I think I might bruise myself. Like if the blade came down on my fingers really hard, I think it could bruise. But, you know, oh, you know what I do want to do while I'm here? I will take a few measurements. Because we gave you some measurements about length and stuff. But as far as the blade stock, oh, my wife used this. And she, there we go, she changed it. Oh, it's on millimeters now. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay, so sorry about this, but 0 0.09 inches, so a little thin there. And the scales, 0.54 inches. And then near the tip right here, 0 0.08. And as far as the whole locked uh, length here, it's 1.04 inches down near the bottom. 0.96 in the middle and right near the top it's 0.87 so it does taper off pretty nicely um, basically what I would expect from something like this so that's all I have for today uh, have some fun and buy some knives talk to you later